guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 3 through 5 of Yes, <clears throat> Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1, go. Good job. Mm. Mm -mm. She gives me Risa vibes, except, you know, Risa is just a pop idol and, you know, this one's over here as an actress. Mm -mm, mm -mm, Cody, did you just cry? What's wrong? <laughs> oh. Well, damn. Passion. Then what would be lemonade? Like the pretty cure of acting? I don't remember. Huh? Yeah. That's gotta be lemonade. <laughs> AKA probably the bubbles of this group. <laughs> when I get home. Cause I'm making nachos tonight. <laughs> How the hell are they headquarters in the middle of this shit like whoop headquarters in 20? 
totally spies. <laughs> Stop it. Be like, hey guys, where's the bad guys headquarters? Right there. <laughs> On like Fifth Avenue. <laughs> And then Gamma is probably going to last, like, what, two, three episodes? An hour and 30 minutes, yes. Maybe even two hours. Oh, she's so cute. Hmm. Excuse me? See, Rin would be the one. Yeah, let me go ahead and spoil everything of what we do while we walk it away. <laughs> What's wrong? We're like, mm, yeah, y'all acting a little sus. <laughs> mm. 
Can you imagine going to a school like this? Oh my god, between this like this school and Go Princess Pretty Cure School and a little bit of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure School. Like, oh my god, I would love going to school every freaking day. Like, Jesus, like, uh, to wear a cute uniform. Uh Hell, I always wanted to go to a private school. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. Mm -mm. You have nose me. You kind of have rain, but you know you got nose me. You gotta love how knows I mean it's just like, you know, fuck you, I'm just gonna tell her everything. Girl, oh my god, you like Lucia from Mermaid Melody. No matter what, she always wanted to freaking tell Kaito, like, hey Kaito, you know, number one, I love you so freaking much, but also I'm a mermaid. <laughs> So we went from, you know, a man, a mantis, a praying mantis to a kid. Oh, okay, never mind. He, he gonna put the mask on or some shit? No, he's gonna throw the mask or something. Something tells me that, you know, what it uh, as Kira Mermaid, she's uh, a mermaid. Mm. Wrong, wrong series, Deja. Lemonade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's probably going to come at, like, what, the 20-minute mark? Or, like, 17, 19-minute mark?
And so none of y'all are going to go and check that out. Mm. Yeah, especially with the fact that Cotton and What's the Face, they're the last two that are gonna come. Especially like what is one of them gonna have to make the excuse for the other one? Like, oh I just have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> because honestly what they should have done around the time when this aired is they did they should have done like a double episode for the two to put them like almost like two in one. That would have been nice, but I get it, you can't do it for almost like every every single season. But we know she's going to turn around and go back as much as it's scaring her right now. Oh, she's so short. Oh, my God. Aww. Well, yeah, you might be hearing some short jokes from me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, wait until you find out who the last two are.
Once again, too easy. Because she also skipped class, too. <laughs> okay, going back to, like, the Risei comment that I said at the beginning of the episode, the only reason, one of many reasons why she's very similar to Risei is she is very passionate about what she wants to do, aka being an actress while Risei wanted to be a pop idol for Persona 4. Um, but there was a point in time where, like, Rise was, um, from what I remember, I think she was abused by others because of the fact that she was such a big idol and people just only wanted to be friends with her because of what she was. She's very similar, in, in that situation, she's very similar to, um, well, my best girl from Persona 5, Haru Okumura, and, um... It's coming. It's coming. The redhead chick from Persona 3. Because <laughs> I don't remember her name because she's a rich girl as well. But um, you would think that Urara would be very stuck up and such even though she she's not. She, she has a TV role but it's not as big as she thinks it is. But it could be depending on what happens next for her and such. But um, yeah, I, I kept thinking, I was like, oh, she might be a little stuck up, but she's just like the cutest little thing. She's so fucking precious and I love her so much. Like, oh my God, she might have to be best girl for me for now up until once everybody gets into this. So we got like two more episodes before maybe I might get my best girl. I'm not 100% sure. Can we just say, like, Akimoto just is, like, a one-to-one -one figure of lettuce? Because she is. She, like, even looking at her right there, like, something tells me that when, when they were trying to get the ideas for this season, they, I mean, because, like, you could tell, like, 100% that, um... Kitty Kitty Pretty Carol mode was influenced by Tokyo Mimi. We all freaking know that. And even despite, like, I remember saying that in 20, 2017 and getting a lot of backlash about it. But I was like, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. That I like the fact is that, you know, other magical girl shows can be influenced by other magical girl shows. Because I remember, and this conversation still happens now, and it's so dumb because they're both made by the same damn anime studio. Sailor Moon versus Pretty Cure. They're both good. They're, it's not one is better than the other or whatever. They are both equally good. They're both going to teach you so many different lessons, but very similar lessons at the same time. That's why I can't say... Um, I love one more than the other. I love both. Now, if we were talking about, like, Sailor Moon and Car Captain Sakura, that's a completely different story as someone who grew up on both and um, loves still loves the crap out of both. But, like, now, especially when I'm older, I think, like, one resonates with me a lot more than the other because, you know, I'm not a freaking princess and I'm not, you know, in the Moon Kingdom or some shit like that. And I haven't found a fucking tuxedo mask, even though technically I have a boyfriend. But we're not going to talk about that either because it's in the business. But, <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, like, honestly, it, it's just, there should be no comparison to both Pretty Cure and um, Sailor Moon because they're both by the same damn studio. Like, oh my god, even though, like, yes, 
Oh God, season one. <laughs> Season one and season two of Sailor Moon Crystal was we can all fucking agree that season one and season two of Sailor Moon Crystal was not the best. I think a lot of us who are a part of that fandom can agree to disagree and that season three and then even though I have not seen the uh the Sailor Moon Crystal um eternal movies yet, but hopefully it comes here in America soon, um, from what a lot of people have told me, they're really good. And accurate and such, and especially, excuse me, the art style. They actually gave them some ish. I mean, because, like, I get it. Yes, Toll Animation is has, like, a lot of um, things to do. And sometimes you can't give every single one of your IPs, you know, a budget. That's a lot. So that they can animate everything. I get it. Because it's the same thing with games and such. Or even TV shows or whatever. But, yeah. I mean, you know, Care Lemonade, she's just adorable, that's all. She seems like the shortest out of everyone, so yeah, like I said, you're going to hear a lot of short jokes from me. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But I'm really excited to see how her story is going to go, especially with like her acting and everything, because something tells me by the end of this season and um, Go-Go, like probably maybe even more by Go-Go, she's probably going to be in like films. Um, and then the school that they go to and the auditorium that they were in she's going to stand on that stage either by the end of this season or the next season but who knows but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode four okay episode four in three two one go She's so sweet. Cursed. <laughs> that might make people not want to come to the library. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh my god, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one out of my ear. Never mind, I lied. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, come on. Got you. Oh my, what are you doing? Jesus. idea and I if this happens oh my god I'm gonna freaking laugh okay I know some people don't play Bang Dream but like there's just a the, there's a band named Pastel Palette and there's five people in it what if they get a collab with Pretty Cure bruh oh my god <laughs> that means I'm really gonna have to see if that happens we gotta wait until summer though and summer's a long time away so Sugar with fried eggs. No, I mean, that's the, uh, I mean, you know, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never heard of, like, sweet eggs. 
Now, unless it's like in a dessert, then yes, that makes sense. <laughs> That's good. Oh, we'll see about that by the end of this episode. I mean, just because you are an elite doesn't mean, you know, you still can't get your butt kicked. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. I'm guessing this is going to be your club room. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think what intelligence would be what's her face for today, and then tranquility would be current. No, 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 no. No, I mean, wait, you just can't ask them out of the blue. I mean, yes, Nina and Aki will be a really nice fit, but you can't just go out and ask everyone that you see.
girls looking at these three like they nuts. <laughs> But, oh my god, cunning. Mm. Yeah. I mean, they do, even though, yes, they are, but at the same time, like, there's no way. I mean, it's just complicated. Unfortunately. A heart. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> too easy. <laughs> you would think that they would have to run after it. Was me. Mm -mm. Don't worry, Aki, your time is coming. You're right, it is going to take Cotton the longest because she is officially the final cure that you need before uh, Milky Rose, but it's okay.
I mean, she is a spider. She gonna trail after y'all no matter what. See, now you at a dead end. Mm. The water? Really? Okay. Oh. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, damn, I thought you two would transform at least before, but okay, never mind. to turn the heat on soon probably at like what time is it 7 23 8 o'clock once i cook Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but how is she gonna touch it though? Okay, never mind. She's so freaking adorable. I mean, you know, for someone who has a very, like, shy, quiet voice, like, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> but I do feel like there might be moments in this show, in this rewatch, she's probably going to have moments where she is going to maybe lash out, whether it's at herself or someone else. But, you know, it'll be really good for her, though. You just say you lost, that's all. You'll find out in one episode, Eddie. <laughs> the fact that, you know, Komachi can't tell Karin, you know, what's up. It, it does suck. I mean, honestly, just imagine, like, you know, you are in a friend group and everyone's, like, planning your birthday secretly. And then you're like, mm, no one's going to spend time with me on my birthday. And then, you know, that one friend says, you know what, come with me. Let's go hang out for a while. Let's go here. And then they just surprise you with the secret party and it's like that. That's kind of what it is. But, um, Koyamachi, like, I really like her. I like all four, but going on five, because of course I'm going to like Kaden as well. Um, she just, like, like I said, she gives me a lot of lettuce vibes from Tokyo Mew Mew and, and that's okay. It's not bad. I know someone's going to be like, well, she's saying this and nah, nah, nah. no, it's good. Please, like, take my word for it because she is very shy and quiet and to herself. But Komachi and you know Karen, they're the moms of this series. They are the mom and dad of this show way before. <laughs> Akira and Yukaiwe, <laughs> and they were the best mom and dad of Kitty Kitty for the Carol or whatever. In my opinion, I'm sorry because like, oh. But, like, uh, she's sweet. They're both just really adorable together. And I hope that once Cotton officially joins the group, um, we get a lot of more, like, cute, adorable moments with these two. I mean, of course, we're going to get it a lot because they're kind of a couple. But then at the same time, they're not. But they're just freaking cute together. I mean, it's just like, oh, look at you. Like, you're so adorable. <laughs> oh. Mm. 
I mean, it would make sense, like, okay, remember the one episode that they did for Gold Princess Breaker, um, essentially, because, like, I remember the first time watching that and thinking that they were going to show all three cures all together by, like, the third episode, you know, they kind of did something different. Kind of really what they're doing with the more modern, um, series for Pretty Cure. It's, like, instead of, like, something like this, or I think Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode, no, because Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode didn't do it as well. But using this show as an example, like, you can see episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 all are kind of, like, here's the introduction of each girl becoming a pretty cure, yada, 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 this, this, and that. While, like, the modern day version, um, essentially is, excuse me. Like, we'll use Tropical Rouge for an example. First episode, you know, you have Kira Summer's debut episode. Second episode was an episode still with Kira Summer. And then uh, three, four, and five all dealt with the other three Kira's officially coming and joining into the group and such. I know you're probably wondering why the hell I have a nail polish and stuff. My mom was messing with some, um some of her new toys and stuff so yeah don't worry about it and stuff it's magnetic nail polish and shit but um yeah i think it's interesting that maybe they could have did this with cutting to make like one episode where she wants to say like no i don't want to do this kind of almost very similar to kilala from goat princess because you know after that episode when she officially transformed and floor and mermaid were like oh my god we got all three and stuff and um Puff and, you know, Puff's mother was like, oh my god, yeah, we got everybody. And she was like, no, I don't want to be a pretty girl. Like, screw this. And then it took, like, an episode later where she was like, yeah, I want to do this now. And, and maybe that might happen with Cotton, but then maybe at the same time it won't because we've never really truly ha had that happen again in the, like, early well, technically, kind of, yes, with, like, Tropical Rouge. But still, like, Asuka still had to be one no matter what. Asuka was like, you know, and Laura was like, yeah, oh my God, she's like, you know, she's so pretty. So, yeah, she could be a pretty girl. And, you know, Asuka is over here looking at Laura like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch right here? Like, no, like, I'm I'm not giving you my time, nor my day, nor my mm, nothing. But then eventually, uh, by the end of the episode, Asuka was in all for <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode five. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. See, Cotton almost like reminds me of like Ellie and Daya from Love Live. It's like that. Also, like, mm, maybe a teeny tiny bit. She also gives me, like, here mint vibes because, like, <laughs> I remember my Tokyo Mimi days, like, <laughs> mint used to be my favorite up until the queen, the best girl, um, did I say here mint? Oh my god. Mew mint! Oh my god! <laughs> Mew Mint used to be my favorite up until um, Mew Zato came in. Best girl of the damn show. I'm sorry. Because like, as much as I love like pudding and lettuce and, you know, of course, Ichigo. Because Ichigo, I remember me and my friend, we were, when we were like kids, we were sitting there playing, like, pretend and everything. We would fight over who would be Ichigo. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Are you seriously going to eat all that? Hmm. Hmm. 
You too? Uh, <laughs> I mean, damn, all four of y'all? All four of y'all. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Did you eat it all? Oh my god, Coco, we're gonna find her. Just calm down. It's food time. Food is very important to a girl. Her voice also, like, reminds me of the current voice for Yukiko, um, for Million Live, or really just the OG uh, Idolmaster series and such, because, you know, your girl doesn't really like Yukiho's new VA, and I remember watching, um, the movie, and I had to pause to literally talk about it, but it, it's growing on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, maybe this time she might not. Well, I mean, yeah, I get that, but unfortunately, honey bunny, you failed. Oh, no, sad day. Bye-bye. Love you, Vidarchi, baby. Mm. Next! What's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Cotton's house. Mm -hmm. 
rich bitch. But of course, she's still back at school. Something tells me that once Cotton joins, we're going to be seeing Cotton's house a lot. Like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Even though it's just like the small grounds, but like, oh, once you see the house, like, oh, I can't. She's right. You gotta make yourself happy every once in a while. Oh, because they're also both violinists, or possibly one's a violinist, the other one's a pianist. How the hell did I guess that? Mm. This is like, it's yesterday all over again, you know? Oh my god, you look like an Elizabeth. And then Chick is like, hello, my name is Elizabeth. She looks like both of them. They look cute.
Well, be brave. Oh my god, Cotton, if only you could understand, honey. A flute? Heck, the pinky look like a Pokemon. Uh, well, damn! Really, the, the top of the gazebo? Mm. You'll see. Just watch. It makes you still wonder, like, what cutting, and you know, our villain and monster of the week is looking at while they're transforming. <laughs> but, like, mm, you know what? I'm going to read the paper or something. Look at the sky. Like, mm, look at that dark filled sky. <laughs> I can't kill myself sometimes. Damn. Nice kick, though.
Mm, you look like an ant. Mm. Oh, that's going to burst though. Damn it. Yes, you can! They about to end this on a cliffhanger. That's why, yeah, because the, even the title of the episode felt weird to me because they didn't put her name in. So her official thing ain't coming until episode six. Well, that's bullshit. But you can. You just have to believe that you can. She's very hesitant. And she, especially, you know, when her mom asked her, like, are you lonely? She's like, no, I'm not lonely. And the fact is, you know, it's like, okay, <laughs> if no one else can do it, yeah, Gus, I got to do it for myself. Yeah, sometimes you have to do that. I mean, hell, even me sometimes. And the thing is, she hates being alone. She, But I think she's afraid of saying that to someone because she might think that she's weak. It's almost like with any other, um, oh my god, animes have talked about this where it's like, oh, someone's afraid of loneliness because I remember talking about this like with my personal thing because one of my mom's friend's kids, their eldest daughter was sleeping over my house and such and we were going to hang out and everything and so because my mom works at night and the situation with my dad that I don't really like to talk about, um, 
there are times where I'm alone and stuff. And so I'm okay with that because now I'm older, but at the time I wasn't. And so this kid had the audacity to ask me like, oh, when you're by yourself, are, do you feel, are you alone? Do you feel lonely or stuff like that? And at first, like I kept telling him like, no, 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 I'm fine. But you know how like when some kids are like, they can't accept no for an answer. So I remember I was like, sometimes it was like, not really because of the fact is, I've been a loner ever since I was a kid, even though I had friends, but I always did stuff on my own. And even as someone who is a only child, except with other situations that I won't be talking about because once again, it's sending a business, but, um, as an only child kind of, um, it is hard to, you know, warm up to others because I don't know how everyone's going to be. And I'm always hesitant and I'm very like shy and closed minded to people until, you know, I get to know them. And I'm, I'm like that with everybody. And I'm still like that even till today, because you don't know how everybody's um, energy is going to match with yours. So I like some of the girls and guys that I've met in high school who I'm still friends with, or even from ele elementary school up until high school that I'm still friends with, like, um, <laughs> I would think like at first I don't think I would be like friends with him like if thinking about it now but like when I was younger yeah it makes the most sense because um a lot of people were like oh like DJ you're so quiet like why don't you talk and I'm like because I'm getting to know you B word and such and once I'm comfortable with you then you're going to see my my loud my funny my outgoing and positive side you're going to see me as a quiet chick because I gotta observe you I gotta see you in your own habitat around other people to know okay are you really that cool to hang out with and stuff because I don't know you like your other friends know you so I have to get to know you on that same level and that's what it kind of is with cotton even though yes yeah, she's like I feel lo I don't feel lonely but secretly I do so I hope and pray that you know when we get to episode six and seven she's able to say you know what yeah I am lonely but you know what I got friends I have all these four girls with me and such I'm not alone anymore for her I think it would be really nice. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 3 to 5 of Yes, Pretty Here 5. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 6 and 7. Bye, guys.